Welcome Taurus, Happy New Year. We're going to be looking at what it is that you need, um, what action you need to take for this year coming. Okay, we'll be using the Work Your Light Oracle deck and I've selected the action cards out of that deck to see what action you need to take. So let's find, there it is, that was so quick. Taurus, what do you need to do? Dance. You need to dance. Okay, do something to shift your vibration. Love it. Okay, so let's have a look further into this. We're going to read that from the book at the end. just want to get these in order. Too many cards all at once. I want them more... More purposeful than that. Excellent. Okay. So I'll just pick this card up off the floor. Okay, Taurus. It's really interesting here. I'm going to start with this one here, which was the first one out. I am going on order. I don't even know why I put it like that. But anyway, um, you know what? I feel like this moment to moment card, I feel like there's this need for you to make sure that this year you remain present. That you are taking everything moment by moment. I feel as though, Taurus, there's this sense of um, this constant either being in the past or in the future and not being in the now. And I feel as though this is something that is really important for you to focus on. Okay. Um, we also have this letting go card here as well. And I there's this um the sense of expectations is what's coming to me here of letting go of any expectations of others, any expectations of circumstances, and primarily of yourself. And when I say letting go of expectations, I don't mean allowing people to disrespect you or, or putting up with stuff that you wouldn't normally put up with from people. It's okay to expect to be treated with respect, to be able to trust people and expect to be treated in a decent manner. That's fine. But it's the expectations of the outcomes that needs to be let go of, okay? Things from your past also that you're carrying around have become a burden for you. The expectations are also quite a burden for you. Expecting far too much from yourself in a very small amount of time can put too much pressure on you, okay? So... It's important for you to understand the weight on your shoulders of this. It's important for you to understand the noise of your mind that keeps harping on at you or even people outside of you who won't give you a break, who expect you to go in a particular direction that suits them. Um... And it can become the case that we have done this for so long, Taurus, that we don't realise we're actually doing it anymore. And it's time for you to start looking at the areas in which potentially you may be doing that. To appease other people, to suit other people, to keep the peace. Okay, um... Yeah, I feel like there's um I feel like there's the sense of feeling quite worn down for you. And um going into this new year, I feel
feel like there's this this need for you to take each step that you take throughout this year consciously not blindly because as you stand you know if you imagine yourself right walking forward if you stand in the spot that you're in before you take that step and become aware of everything around you become aware of the direction of the step that you are taking become aware of why you are taking that step what is the intention what is the purpose who is it for what's the expectation of the outcome of that step being taken you will start to tap into yourself right are you taking the step because you think that's the best thing or are you taking your step because that's what your heart wants what's the intention behind it what do you hope to achieve yeah do this consciously we have this conscious card here this is the beginning of you becoming conscious of every single thing that you are doing in your life right now what is it for even when you go to speak why are you speaking what do you hope to achieve out of it are you are you thinking before you speak are you conscious of what is coming out it's a time it's a new beginning for you here Taurus there's a massive massive shift happening happening in this year and um, there's a different direction a different direction being taken for a lot of people that is necessary and the, this direction for you is quite a crucial one okay we have this existence card here this is your, this is really interesting actually, because this is your a major arcana card here, and I'll get to the other ones that have come out. But this ex existence, I feel like this is the beginning of you. Real, here's the thing, I feel like you know about the connection of, of, at least for some of you anyway, you know about the connection of oneness, you know that everything is um, connected right but I feel like this year there's going to be a deeper understanding of what that truly means for you and you're going to actually grasp this to a level that you could not imagine there's gonna I, I feel like there's the sense of being stripped naked just like this person sitting here right being stripped down to the core of your being and it doesn't necessarily have to be a negative thing right it could be on a spiritual level it could be on a on a level that you are doing this work for yourself to get to the crux of you here Taurus right because we have this past lives card here and it's kind of like going back through history now, when I was talking earlier about letting go of the past, that's about holding on to things that are no longer serving you, repeating stories in your mind that keeps negativity alive. Letting go of that, that's necessary. Discovering past lives, discovering the history of yourself, that I feel is a necessary exercise in order for you to move forward with more consciousness. I feel like there will be some answers that you get in doing this past life discovery, working out, like learning about your ancestors, um, what they went through in their life, because all that is part and parcel of you getting to here, right? And remembering Taurus in the past um, I don't know if it's to you but I have said before and I truly believe this we are the ancestors right we've had so many lifetimes now we are the ancestors so when you are tapping into the existence of who you truly are when you are becoming conscious of that 
when you're letting go of all the stuff get, that gets in the way of this connection, that is when you discover who you truly are. And that is cause for celebration, right? This is you finding your people. This is you learning to do things differently. This is you letting go. Because at the end, at the end of the day, we are still human. We are here having this human experience. So make the most of it. Enjoy it. Have fun. Get outside and jump in the puddles. Go do things that you used to do when you were a child that you loved doing that you no longer do. Look at the things, look at the ways that you've restricted yourself from living the, the fullest life that you can live. Okay? Look at the ways that you stay in your mind that stop you from being who you truly are. That stop you from letting your hair down and having fun. That pollutes your world. That stops you from building a solid foundation that you want and deserve. Yes? Allow yourself to have a new beginning. To have the faith that whatever direction you go in, it's the direction that is necessary for you because you are coming from the heart here. Yeah? Look at this. We have two steps of a whole new beginning here. This is incredible. And this is something that is life-altering because this is your soul journey. This is, this is a, a common thread throughout your lifetimes that you are walking into this year incredible like this is incredible absolutely politics i feel like this is something to be mindful of taking off the mask even if these things that you are not proud of being honest with yourself about those forgiving yourself for, of, for those letting go of that dropping the burden of that okay and understand that in the moment, none of that matters. What matters is the now. Okay? So, in saying that, dance. Do something to shift your vibration. Okay, so let's find this one here. Dance, here we go. Life is always moving. If you resist this ever-changing flow, your energy will become stagnant and you will fall out of flow with the universe. The universe has a mysterious, intelligent force, a natural, rhythmic beat, which governs all of life. One of the best ways to shift your energy, frequency and vibration is to put on some music and dance along with it. When we dance unrestrained, our spirit takes over and with each new bop sway and kick we are rocked back into harmony with the rest of life get unstuck by doing something that shifts your vibration put on some music dance unrestrained and fall into the frequency of life in doing so your body will begin to learn how to be moved by your intuition which is connected with this systemic beat. If dancing isn't your thing, then simply do something that you would not usually do to shift the energy. You cannot solve a problem with the same mind that created it, right? And you cannot attract a different experience without changing your energy first. I love that because this card here reminds me of that too, right? And these and right next to one another. Look at the difference in the energy here, okay? Imagine dancing outside in the rain, yeah? Anyway. It's time to shift things up and to find a way to dance along with the beat of life. So your action for this year is dance or do something to shift your energy. Something physical, yeah? So yeah, that's cool. Okay, Taurus, I'm going to leave that with you. Look, come back and watch this throughout the year, okay? To remind yourself of what you need to do to keep yourself going, okay? Keep yourself connected in. 
and remembering because it's easy to get caught up in life and forget what it is that we're meant to be doing you know for that year so this is just to help guide you throughout the year okay okay Taurus I'm gonna leave that with you take care of your beautiful self see you bye bye